We have several changes taking place here in the Oval, but there is one situation that's picking up pace right up under our noses, and I hope that we're not ignoring the obvious. There is new dialogue taking place between Donald and Hunter, one that we haven't quite seen before, so I want to take us back to the conversation that they had right before Eli laid all that news on the press, and I truly think that things will get worse before they get better. The question that I want to pose is, how loyal is Donald? Listen, y'all remember the neighborhood fights, right? When two people would be fighting and then others would jump in and one person shocks everybody by helping to beat up the person who they came with. <laughs> That's Donald. Donald is going to betray Hunter. I won't be surprised if he stood at that podium and admitted to some of the things that are taking place at the White House just to remove himself from Sam's suspicion. This conversation was very telling, and if we paid attention, each and every time Hunter made a suggestion, Donald disagreed. He wanted to have Eli removed from the White House because he was freely running around after being asked to resign. Donald said no. We need to keep him close and keep an eye on him. And because Sam told Told Donald about Sharon being in the Oval. He wanted to remove Sam from the White House, but Donald said no once again because of the fact that Sam trusted him. He's able to get more information out of him and stay one step ahead of their game plan. Now, these two should be on the same page with their intentions, but Donald debunks every move that he wants to make. Donald even told him not to worry that he was going to keep Eli cool and keep him from going to the press with his allegations. Clearly, that didn't happen. And I told you guys in my last video that Donald and Victoria are the brain behind their evil operation. It's almost as if Donald is slick setting Hunter up, but he has a very coy way of doing it by pretending to defend Hunter and fake protect him. And let us not forget our suspicion of when the Franklins were on their way back from visiting Victoria's father, how he called Hunter and told Hunter exactly what he was doing in the back of that motorcade. How did he know this? Like he immediately knew what was happening. Then Donald made himself comfortable in the back seat just as her father called him. Unless there was a camera and microphone in the car, I believe Donald had everything to do with this. I believe he's snitching to her father because he wants to try to remove Hunter just like her father does. Hunter has loyalty to no one. He's not loyal to Lily, he's not loyal to Hunter, and he's not even loyal to Kyle. To me, Donald is actually the one who's being underestimated when it comes to his hunger for power. And everybody's looking at Eli and Bobby and Max, but I think that Donald has a plan of his own when it comes to Hunter and what's about to go down. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Donald is going to prove loyalty to Hunter when it's actually needed? Or is he going to take that knife out of Hunter's back, one that he's helping to plant? Drop your predictions in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're an Ola fan, go ahead and sub to the channel because I do videos like this all the time. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Ruthless TV, and I'll see you on the next one.